The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Sends it sailing downfield. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gives it right side. Runs outside for a nice game. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. around the 49 yard line he really showed some good speed there i'll tell you no question when you talk about being able to turn on the jets and leave everybody in the dust you have to mention this young man he's got skills but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about throws complete he's got space to work They need to get it inside the 41. They come out on an empty backfield. Brought down at the 42. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. For this offense picking up that fourth down conversion. The running play was very well designed. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That brings up second and nine. the 27 yard line. Impressive game there by the do it all back. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably gonna get a chance to play at the next level. This is the 10th play of this drive. the 17-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. to run and just bursting in for six. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12 play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Utah, kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rams have been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas in the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! He's scrambling. 
They bring the quarterback down. to the 40, and they finally push him out at the 47. That's good for a gain of 31 yards. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike, Mike seven. And they make the stop at about the 49. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So we're looking at another third down here. He's going to lose big yards. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Utah, up seven points. Motion, motion, motion. Right around the foot. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it seven. From their own 40 yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. He gets rid of this one, and that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. He got hit hard. You'd never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. First down. Thank you. 
Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Utes lead 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. We're playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. This secondary better tighten it up. They're going to slow down this drive. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Four down, four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Here we go. Black. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 82-yard drive, and they put up seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Colorado State is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes at the 35. That'll make it second and inches. He tackles him for a loss. That's a loss of three yards. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. You remember me? You remember me? Let's go, baby. Go, go. Out at 52. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. but he can't shake the defense. three yards to get the first down here on third down. Three 
Two down. 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 It's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. About the 11. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's going to be sacked. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Utah is looking to go up by three. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. Here's a fourth down and long situation following the penalty. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10-7, Utah. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's got his man across the middle, and he's hit immediately. Number four brings him down at the 36-yard line. First down. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Ready. Blue and hot. First down grab by the receiver. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. The Rams use their second timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That's good for a game of 16 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. ten. Right around the 26-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. That makes it third and 11. Tries to set up the screen, but drops. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Colorado State is looking to tie things up. 
kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses, they just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and 10, ball in the 25. We've played a half and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good... Well, like a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Heading into the third quarter now. Time ball game. We're set to resume play. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. And he's taken down at the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Motion, motion, motion. Easy, easy, easy. Sting right Give to the tailback. A gain of about four yards on the draw. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it 35. It's third and five. Ball on their own 30. Let's go! Red 68! Red 68! <laughs> Slings it. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Mays at the 26-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Third and ten coming up. Ball on their own 26. I 
Steps up in the pocket. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. This is a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. There he goes! And they push him out at the 46-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. After a decent pickup. That's good for a yards. That makes it second and six. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Red 18. Red 18. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Tackle at the 36. Number four brings him down. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Steps out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's got his man. Tackle made at the 33. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense anticipating pass here. He's in trouble. And the safety with the interception. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 for the 20. They'll bring him down around the 11 yard line. When he was facing a big pass rush, the ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 11 yard line. Down. 
Pass complete and taken down immediately. Gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. And he's level at the three. The back gets three on the carry. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Touchdown, Rams. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 12-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Colorado State ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rams continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23 yard line, it's second down. All day, just like that. And he's tangled after positive yardage. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. Colorado State's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Moves up in the pocket. There's a strike complete, and he's finally shoved out at the 44-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. yards away here on third down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Scooped up by the defense. I mean, that is a 
tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Colorado State is up by a touchdown. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. to the wideout, first down. First down. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Ready, easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Hut, hut. Let's go, D. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. The Utes taking their first time out of the half. With the tackle at the 50-yard line. That brings him second and five. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Caught and he steps out of bounds. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Red 85, check, check, Fox 2, Fox 2. Second down. Ready! Blue Brought down at the 16-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That'll make it third and one. It's the ninth play of the drive. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 17-10, Colorado State. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.